De Kock was in charge of a police death squad at Flagplas outside Pretoria. He was convicted and sentenced to two life terms in the Pretoria High Court in 1996. He later testified before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission but was denied amnesty. De Kock went back to the same court last month to force Masuta to make a decision on his parole application. The minister tomorrow at 11.30 will be making that announcement in compliance with that court order. The announcement would have been preceded by a communication to the offender of the decision that has been made. De Kock has spent nearly two decades behind bars. I don't see why uh, he shouldn't be uh, treated um, in the same way where there's equality before the law. Suppose it was someone else and not him, um, couldn't could there be an outcry that is being let out? Mind you, the wounds of apartheid can never be healed simply because somebody uh, was in jail and lived in jail until they died. De Kock has on many occasions apologized to some of his victims' families. Sepo Sturman, SABC News, Pretoria.